video, I'll talk about the learning curve theory. So the idea behind the learning curve theory is that people get better in performing a task when task is repeated. This means that the more that the person performs a task, the more he becomes familiar with it and therefore it will take him lesser and lesser time to perform succeeding tasks. In business, the learning curve theory assumes that when the unit of production doubles, the cumulative average time in producing units reduces at the constant learning rate. The time taken in producing succeeding units stabilizes once efficiency is achieved. So let's look into an example. Say it takes 100 minutes to produce the first chair for Sohi company. In the previous year, the company is said to have achieved an 80% learning rate from its workers. This means that each time it doubles the production of the chairs, the cumulative average time of the recent doubled quantity reduces to 80%. So to make two chairs, the cumulative average time to make a chair becomes 80 minutes. Therefore, it would take 160 minutes to produce two chairs instead of 200 minutes. Again, when we double this output, the cumulative average time is further reduced to 80% and so on. With the doubling effect, it is quite easy to calculate the cumulative average time as shown in the table. But how do we calculate the units that do not fall in this doubling pattern such as the third, the seventh or the ninth unit? So then we can use the learning curve formula y is equal to ax raised to b, where y is equal to the cumulative average time per unit or batch, a is equal to the time taken to produce the initial quantity, x is equal to the cumulative units of production, or if in batches, the cumulative number of batches. b is equal to the learning index or coefficient, which is calculated as log learning curve percentage divided by log 2. So b for an 80% curve would be log 0.8 divided by log 2, which is equal to negative 0.322. So say we'd like to know how long will it take to produce 17 shares for Sohi company? We calculate as follows. Y is equal to 100 being the time taken to produce the first chair multiplied by 17 raised to negative 0.322. This gives us a cumulative average time of 40.16 minutes. So to get the total hours to produce all 17 chairs, we multiply 40.16 minutes by 17 chairs. This gives us 682.72 minutes. So let's plot the figures in a graph to see what the learning curve looks like assuming that the steady state is achieved after the 17th unit. The x-axis represents experience in terms of output and the y-axis represents learning as expressed as the cumulative average time in producing the units. Here we can see how the cumulative average time decreases as the output increases and stabilizes once it reaches a steady state. Knowing the learning curve tells us how learning is achieved in a business. A steep learning curve means that the task is simpler and takes quicker to learn. Whereas a shallow learning curve means that the learning for the task takes longer. So this is very important in cost scheduling, training and cost estimation in a business as the shape of a learning curve can tell you whether performance is improving or declining, stagnating or fluctuating. This is also very essential in the strategic planning of a business, mainly in its forecasting and evaluation. However, we need to take note that the learning curve theory is incomplete on its own, so businesses would still need to use other methods of assessing performance as learning can be influenced by a number of factors as well, such as the time taken to learn varies from one person to the other, the quality of learning, their experiences and motivation. So there you have it guys, I hope that you've learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.